To perform an accurate scan of the abdominal aorta, it's absolutely beneficial to place the patient in a supine position, as I did here, and to flex the knees to reduce the tension of the rectus muscle. As I just mentioned, we are going to use a face array probe and start in the transverse view. The marker of this probe should point to the right-hand side of the patient. But first things first, let's get the gel. So I start already with putting enough gel from the area down to the navel area to scan the complete abdominal aorta. Taking the probe now and I assure that they have the right program. In this case, the device offers a program called Aorta. So let's start the protocol of scanning the abdominal aorta, as mentioned before, just below the xuphoid area. That's the area where actually the thoracic aorta is passing through the diaphragmatic hiatus into the abdominal area. Let's take a look at our imaging screen. A little more depth in this case. And the first landmarks that you can appreciate is left liver lobe. On the left hand side of the screen you can see the IVC and on the right hand side of the screen the black structure is the abdominal aorta and the center of the screen is the spine. You can also clearly differentiate the IVC from the abdominal aorta by looking at the respiratory changes of the breathing of this patient. And on the right hand side clearly you can see a strong pulsating structure. Starting here at the cypheid area, we slowly move now the transducer and the transverse direction more cordially. The first vessel that is leaving the aorta is the celiac trunk. And moving even more cordially, the next vessel that you can appreciate is the superior mesenteric artery. And if you move even more cordially, by still realizing all the other structures, the IVC, the human spine, you may see the renal arteries leaving on both sides laterally of the abdominal aorta. More cordially, slowly, by reducing the depths, you reach the navel area and the bifurcation area. Focusing on the screen here now, there's a little bit bowl gas in the way and you may like to press a little bit with your transducer to get away with that. We continue now the exam of the abdominal aorta in the longitudinal view. The marker is pointing towards the head of the patient. The first landmark that you can see again is the liver and by tilting the probe slowly to the midline of the patient, you can appreciate the abdominal aorta. Remember, if we now tilt to the right-hand side of the patient, we are going to see the IVC, which again will show the respiratory changes over the breathing rhythm of the patient. Let's go back and tilt to the midline and just below the abdominal aorta, you see a strong reflection again this time in longitudinal view, it's the human spine. The first vessel that is leaving the aorta is the celiac trunk, following by the superior mesenteric artery, and more cordially, you reach the level of the bifurcation area, close to the navel. You may want to reduce the depths here a little bit, to see the aortic tube very clear. One more time, we move up cranially to assure that we haven't missed out anything important. 